Oh yeah, my amigos. Welcome back to the channel, kids. That's right. Let's keep going. This is Monday. This is after making the cut. You can see on the 28th right there, I shot 76. The next day I did better, 75, so that's nice. Uh, you can see Riverside on there a lot because I had been playing some practice rounds. So let's keep going. Um, I made the cut right at the number, which is fantastic. That is the goal, is to make the cut. And here we go, hole number one, Monday morning. Par four, 380 yards. I'm aiming left-hand side. Trying to clear a bunker on the right. But boom Not bad. Not bad. I hit it pretty good. It just faded a little bit more than I wanted to. And it went exactly where I didn't want to go. Into the bunker. So that left me with 122 in. This is my 44 degree wedge. Uh, it could work as a pitching wedge also, right? Pin is all the way in the back, and I put a good strike on that. Put it um, right on the pin, and then it uh, uh, released just a little bit onto the skirt. And that left me with, what do you say, about uh, 16 feet maybe? Here we go, for birdie. Ooh, low side. That's the amateur side. But that was a good putt. Not bad, not bad. All right, left it to about a foot and a half. These are always nice and easy. You want to start strong, you know? You want to hit the back of the cup. That's good. That's a nice par. All right, let's keep going. Monday morning. Here we go. Uh, hole two, par three, 202 yards. I went with my six iron, and I just hit it real soft. I just hit a puncher right down the middle. I kept lowering it and lowering it every single day that we played here. Uh, it rolled up the hill, but it didn't get over, and then it rolled back down to this spot right here, which is not bad, okay? So this is pretty easy. I'm just going uh, three and a half, about four feet past the pin is what you wanna do whenever you have a steep grade like this and you're off the green, okay? And I did, that's not bad, but I didn't expect it to turn to the left like that, and I think that's what threw it off, took it offline a little bit. But this is not too tough. Maybe about two and a half. Two and a half feet, is that right? Maybe three. Oh no, low side. Wow. Amateur hour. Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, to miss that on the low side, uh, not good. That's a bogey. Yeah, that's a bad bogey because that was pretty easy. It would have been a great up and down. Here we go. Hold three. Par four, 389 yards. I'm aiming right down the middle and then trying to get it to fade. And that's exactly what it did. I hit it right down the middle of the fairway and then it fades. And uh, it didn't fade enough to avoid these trees. So they kind of blocked me out. And especially because I hit a fade, right? So check this out. I hit that so bad right there. Um, the official was right there, right next to it. And luckily... Whew, it just stayed in. You can see the white stake right there, and there's another one on my right-hand side. Okay, so I stayed in by a whisker, and then I'm using my 50-degree wedge right there. I just want to bump it up, use a bump and run, get it to roll out, right? Bogey's going to be fine right here. Bogey's good enough. So that leaves me with maybe about 35, maybe 38 feet right here uphill for par. I clobbered that thinking that I had the line. I saw it really well and I missed it. All right, and uh, but not too tough. Maybe about three and a half, four feet coming back. No good, that's a double, ouch. Three over, not started the way I, that I did not start the way I wanted to. Here we go, hole four. Par four, 423 yards. I'm three over at the moment. Some blunders. Blunders. Here we go. Okay, so I just missed the fairway. Hit a good shot. Just missed the fairway a little bit. And then I had 178 in right here. I used my seven iron. And I just punched that. See how I low how low I kept that? I was trying to, I was kind of trying to play a bump and run just to get it to roll up. 
and unfortunately I didn't club up, up enough. I, I should have used a six iron to get it to all the way to the back of the green or onto the green, period. So now I'm putting right here, okay? And that's about 65, maybe 70 feet. But you can see how easy it is to roll up, right? I could have done a bump and run easily with the pitching wedge, but I chose to putt, left it short. This is for par. Aggressive. I was uh, hitting it nice and aggressive. I like that. I got it past the pin. Uh, unfortunately, it did not find the hole. So that's a bogey. Four over, my amigos. Slipping and sliding. Yeah, slipping and sliding on Monday morning after making the cut. All right, hole five, part three, 158 yards. There's the pin right there. I was going with my seven iron, seven iron, and I just hit that bad. I think I was uh, a little bit in my head, um, just didn't hit that good at all. I ended up hooking it, and then I put it in a kind of hairy spot right here. Okay, so I'm just trying to play another bump and run again. I don't like to flop these shots because I don't want to leave them short. I would rather be 10 feet long than short. Okay, so there's a bump and run. I didn't get it to hill, hit on the hill that I needed to. Bump and run, did good, but I didn't hit it low enough on that hill to bounce and then get it to stop. So now that leaves me with this, uh, I don't know, 35, 40 footer again for par. Ooh, that's looking good. Get! Oh, man. That was a good putt. Very nice, my amigos. I missed it. Rimmed out. And that left me maybe a foot, foot and a half for bogey. So now I'm five over. Reeling a little bit, my friends. Reeling. Uh, not hitting the ball well. Not executing when I really need to execute an easy, uh, you know, putt on some. Um, just not, 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 not good. Hole six. Par five. 540. 40 something yards. There we go. Hit that right in the middle. So I kind of took a deep breath and I was like, yes, I could put this on. Two putt, a uh, one putt for an eagle, two putt for a birdie. Here we go. Three wood. I had maybe about 262 in out, uh, from the pin. Uh, it bled a little bit farther out than I needed to, to the right hand side. All right. And so now I'm doing a bump and run. Forget about eagle. Let's focus on birdie. All right, so I'm gonna hit it to the right-hand side right here and then get it to trickle down to the left. Probably my 54 degree wedge. Okay, so I hit it where I needed to. I hit it a little bit long. I don't think I anticipated it was gonna roll as much uh, as it did and it rolled out too much. And then uh, I bumped that up, just a little uh, birdie putt, missed it, and this is for par. Okay, uh, back on the horse, back on the horse, all right, after a flurry of blunders. Here we go. Hole seven, par four, 363 yards. All right, I'm going driver. You can see I'm aiming far left. That's exactly where I'm aiming. Just try to put it in the middle, and uh, I ended up sculling it a little bit, but uh, it was fine. It was in the fairway, only that the uh, pin was behind the bunker right there. I had 160 in, maybe 156 in. I used my um, eight iron and came up short because the wind was headed in my direction. If you look at that right there, look at the flag. Okay, this isn't too tough. I'm using my 58 degree wedge. That was a good touch right there. And then it trickled to the right hand side, which I was, I was okay with. Uh, left me maybe a seven, eight footer for par. So here we go, scrambling again, my amigos. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know what? If you're missing greens, um, having to get do bump and runs to put it onto the green, you're gonna struggle a little bit. It, uh, you're gonna hit, have to hit putts. Oh yeah, that was nice. I went, I went uh, one cup to the right hand side and got it to uh, draw just a little bit. Not a draw, but you know what I mean. It turned to the left. Nice. Hole eight, part three, 182 yards. All right, so I went six iron, and you can see I backed off my swing just enough to put it in this bunker. Okay, so now I'm using my 54 degree wedge, 54 degree wedge, right? Trying to get it to roll out. I put it right in the middle 
of the green. It just didn't roll out enough. It wasn't a terrible touch, um, but I was a little bit afraid of it going too long and then rolling off the green because on the other side of the pin is a little bit of a, a valley, and I didn't want it to go down there. You can see it on the right-hand side. So I left it in a good spot, in a safe spot. Sorry, safe spot. And now this is for par. Got it to the hole, just barely missed it. That was not bad. Yeah, I was aiming right side of the pin, rolled a little bit farther, turned a little bit more than I needed it to, and that's another bogey. Blah. All right, my amigos, here we go. Hole nine, par five, 545 yards. I'm six over. Man, look and see how far I'm aiming to the left-hand side. Yeah? Uh, put that in an okay spot right in the middle. Hit a good drive. It's a good thing I tucked in right there. Maybe that was the issue, right? And then I had, I don't know, maybe 274 out right here. So I'm just trying to hit a strong three wood right down the middle. I'm trying to hit it low. See how low I hit that? That's just a controlled three wood. Yeah? Put it right in the middle. Nice shot. And then that left me an easy, easy, maybe... 65 maybe 68 yards in pin is uh right behind the bunker so i'm gonna keep it to the right hand side try to try to get it to draw a little bit and i did i hit a pretty good shot on that um left it out to the right hand side and that left me with maybe a 9 to 11 footer for birdie here we go this would be big because if i can get it back to uh Five over, that would be great. Aggressive, aggressive, but just didn't hit the hole. Didn't even come close, as a matter of fact. I didn't even sniff it. So, a par right there. I'm six over. Stay tuned. It's hole 10, par four. 400 and something yards. I hit it uh, right down the middle. Nice and easy. Good shot. Yeah, so I'm six over. I probably had about 143 in right here. Pretty easy shot. Uh, I think my ball might have been lying down a little bit in a divot or a little, uh, I don't know, just my lie wasn't very good. You can see that. I wasn't very happy about that. So I hit it a little bit long. Okay, I hit a flyer. Hit long. I was probably using my nine iron and it still went long. Then I had a nice little bump and run right here. Let's see if I could save this for par. And I did not, did not save it for par. And you know what? I just realized that my scores are wrong. So I'm actually seven over right here. Okay, hole 11, par 3, 148 yards. I'm actually seven over. I'm not gonna adjust it because I've already done the work of uh, setting up these um, graphics and it takes a long time. Uh, here we go, par 3, 147 yards it was playing on this day. Uh, the bunker was protecting it really well. I went aggressive trying to land it on it right trying to dunk it and so i came up i hit the lip up on top and then it just trickled backwards into here so that's not good yeah got my 58 degree uh, wedge right here i'm just trying to hit it right over this lip okay and i do pulled it just a little bit right there thick sand no big deal not a very good execution all right, and then that left me with uh, probably about 24 footer right here downhill. It's gonna go right to left. There it is. Oh, it didn't turn. I thought I had read that perfectly. It would have been a good putt right there too. Great uh, par save. Unfortunately, I did not. So now I'm eight over. My amigos, man, just bleeding to death, right? No bueno. I know, the graphic says it's seven over, it's not, it's eight over. Hole 12, par four, 364 yards. Here we go, three wood. Uh, hit that right in the middle, nice and easy, just right of the flag, trying to keep it in the middle, and I did, nice shot in. Okay, and then I had uh, 152 in right here, and I'm using my eight iron. Eight iron, 152 yards. I'm gonna go nice and easy, ball is above, right? This green is elevated. 
So I'm just trying to put it right in the middle. Nice and easy, that's a good shot. Hit it a little bit to the left-hand side, then there's a little bit of a wall, and it'll hit off that wall, cream off of it, and then uh, onto the green, and that's nice. And now this is for birdie, maybe about 45 feet. Come on, baby. Oh, so close. So close and yet so far away. That's a par, good par. You know, at least I was back on the horse. Here we go, let's continue. Okay, hole 13, par four, 430 yards. I'm eight over, all right? I was just trying to put this in the middle, hit it aggressively right down the middle, nice and easy, and I did, nice shot. Okay, and then that left me with 182 in right here. This is probably my six iron. I'm trying to draw it. Okay, trying to hit a draw, and it's just not a shot that I hit enough to be comfortable with. I bled it out to the right, put it in a terrible spot. I mean, if you put it right here, it's just so tough to get it to stop on the pin. So you can see that I'm putting right through this grass, which is just a high percentage choice so long as I hit it hard enough, and I didn't. The grass just grabbed it enough to hold it, and it stayed up on top, so this is equally tough, right? I mean, look at this slope, yeah? This is for par, okay? Turns quite a bit, and that's a good touch. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. Should be an easy bogey opportunity. Here we go, maybe four and a half, five feet uphill. That's a good bogey, back of the cup. All right, nine over, hole 14, par five. 542 yards let's go i'm gonna let this one fly yeah because why not it's a par five uh i'm nine over now, there's not much left i mean that that's basically it i've kind of worn out i'm all, all all out of love yeah so i put that right in the middle and then i go aggressive right here really aggressive with my three wood uh trying to put it in there's railroad tracks to the right to the left hand side so i went super aggressive and I did. I stuck this one onto the green. Not too far away from Eagle. Nice shot right here. Okay, so this is a good Eagle opportunity. Let's see if I can get it down the hill. And I had just told my playing partners, let's not leave it short. Because two of us had uh, hit it onto the green in two. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Mikey. How are you going to do that to yourself, kid? How? Yeah, that's not good. All right, so I left it short. No bueno. Would have been a good line, too, had it uh, kept going. And this is for birdie to put me back to eight over. That's a good birdie. Good birdie. Oh, yeah. One of the few highlights on the day. Here we go. Hole 15, part three, 212 yards. I'm eight over now. Okay. This is playing uh, 212 yards. I'm using my five wood. I'm just trying to go aggressive. Hit it over a bunker. And that's a good shot right there. I thought that was actually onto the green and right next to the pin. Unfortunately, it came up just a little bit short and into this bunker. You can see how close I was to hitting um, hitting it over onto the green, and that would have been great. And I told my uh, the, one of the caddies if he could pull the pin because this is one that you want to jar, right? You want to have a good opportunity to jar this out, and that way we can uh, have a nice birdie right here. So I'm trying to go aggressive aggressive with my 58 degree wedge let's do it okay and it just turned to the right hand side i thought it was going to go left i was aiming left just a little bit left and it actually went to the right hand side but not a bad touch and now this is for parski see if i could save this No bueno, low side, like an amateur, man. Yeah, that's not good. After a birdie, man, Jesus. Okay, that's it. Nine over, my amigos. Let's do it again. Let's keep going. Here we go. Hole 16, par five, 542 yards. I'm nine over after that bogey. Okay, uh, put that right in the middle. Nice and easy. Good shot, right? 
And then I had uh, 247 in. I'm just trying to lay right here, trying to hit it to the left-hand side. Nice little lay. You can see where the flag is. And I did. I hit a good shot, but I didn't hit it far enough. And so that brought that bunker into play right there on the right-hand side. And I tried babying that, trying to put it on the pin for a nice, easy birdie, hopefully an eagle hole out. And I just came up a little bit short. And this is not good. So now I'm still on the other side of this bunker. Wow, what a mistake. What a mistake, but let's see if I can, we, we can get this up and down right here. All right, so I hit that. I pulled it just a little bit, held onto it too tight, just held onto the club a little bit too long right there, okay? And uh, now this is for a long par opportunity, maybe about 24 feet. Okay, never turned. I thought it was going to turn to the uh, left-hand side. It didn't. And that's another bogey of 10 over, my amigos. Wow. 10 over. That sounds bad. But that's golf, my friends. You know, you're not going to shoot great every single day, right? There's no excuses. You guys know what golf is. You guys have seen me play before. You see my swing. You see the way I manage. Uh, that's golf, my amigos. There's no excuses to be made. Here we go. Hole 17, par 4. 402 yards hit a good shot right in the middle yeah and then that left me with 137 in so i went with my pitching wedge and i just caught a flyer right there i hit that really well only that uh, i hit it too low and it hit right in the middle of the green and then bounded forward all the way to the back of the green you can see i'm not very happy right there right so now i've got maybe this 56 60 footer right here for birdie coming back I think I lost focus right there. I wasn't very happy. And uh, yeah, look how bad I missed right there. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Not a good lag and not a good line at all. Okay, so let's see if I could save this, right? So I won't be so embarrassed. I'm 10 over at the moment. It's probably about 16 feet. Just pop that a little bit, a little bit stabby, trying to hit the back of the pin, the back of the cup, I'm sorry, and I did. All right, so that's a par. Hole 18, par 5, 469 yards, my amigos. Let's do it. Yeah? Okay, so I hit a good shot. Not bad. Not bad. Put it right in the middle. And that left me with my 5 wood. I probably got about 211 in right here, maybe 200. Yeah? So I went nice and easy. You can see how much I backed off on that swing right there. Put it onto the green. And now here's a long, long eagle putt opportunity. Maybe about 65, 70 feet. Let's see if I can get this close and get a birdie out of it. All right, here we come. Here we go. And I left that low, low side. Low side and short. Oh, uh, the Doubleman twins. Low side and short is not good, my friends. All right, so here we go. A little walk of shame. Yeah. I'm just thinking, man, I have to save this. I got to save this for sure for a birdie opportunity. Here we go. Maybe about uh, five feet for birdie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nine over on the day. That's it. 81. Uh, what did I do? I went 76, 75, and 81. Stay tuned, my amigos. That's golfo. You know? That's golf. Didn't play very well, but stay tuned because I got a worse round to show you guys. Two worse rounds to show you guys. But next is Harding Wilson. We're going to go back to the Los Angeles City Amateur. Stay tuned. Got lots more coming up. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in.